Oh, what? We're just jumping in? I can't... Wait, what? What happened? Okay, I didn't know what just happened, but welcome back everyone to another video and today we are playing Fred Bear's Fright. This is a game that I have seen many years ago, I think around 2017, 2018. I think I've seen 8-Bit Ryan playing this. And yes, this will be the final Finance Freddy's video for Finance Freddy's Month. And I had fun doing this, um, I think. Sorry. I think it actually, just seeing the different ways people make Finance Freddy's games and showing the love and appreciation that they have for the Finance Freddy's franchise, I thought, why not just do a whole month, even though it's not technically a whole month, it's only, I only released five videos for Finance Freddy's month, because that whole entire thing was a whole last minute idea. Uh, the reason why I've done these t these videos because I want to get used to recording by myself. I usually record with Sean or someone else, and hopefully, this will spiral into something else. More solo videos, me playing different uh, different games. Hopefully, the uh, three scary games part two, the next one that I'm going to do. Yeah, hopefully. I can actually get that <laughs> doing, uh, get that recorded soon, and we're just gonna have fun. I've seen a lot of stuff about this game, so let's do it. Lady, don't bother with your man. I buy you real hair, right? Who knows how long we're gonna survive this? So, yeah, we're about to find out. Oh my god. Oh, they got one. Hello and welcome to your new job at the spooky haunting place where you're in the trunk, swim around the shovel in suits, etc. Just kidding. Those things are wired up and can't move around, like how they were fabled to back in the day. In fact, you're sitting in the original Freddy Fazbear's Pizza right now. Is that neat? The owners of this location sold the property to Fun Frights Incorporated while they're looking for a place to build their. Sorry. So, what a coincidence that the old pizza place is here. How perfect. For an old creepy restaurant to be in this exact area. The land was very cheap too. I mean the building was so messed up that they had to either destroy it or attempt to renovate it. Of course they were going bankrupt. So they decided to try selling it leading to where you currently are. Speaking of the building being in poor condition, we've had to work in renovating parts of it already. Almost everything is complete but the power died shortly after we started renovating. We have resorted to using a generator so uh make sure you don't run out of generator energy. If you do, just try to find a flashlight or something. It's looking pretty spooky in there, so good luck with that. Oh man. Uh, oh yeah. I guess I have to read the safety packet to you. Uh, Alright. Welcome to Frederick's Fright, the latest and greatest horror attraction featuring actual relics from the original diners. Where mysteries about the events were tragic, but not certain. Uh, in case of any sort of injury or harm inflicted by an animatronic occurs, we are not to is be held handy? responsible as it is your own fault doing so. If the chance of a person has turned up missing or has a fatal event happened within our premises, the location of that event will be cleaned up after the attraction's running nope. hours, blah, blah, blah. What a bunch of nonsense. I mean, I could understand the injuries if someone was just uh, plain old dumb with our equipment. But to yeah, die in our that's... building, that's ridiculous. Our animatronics should be just fine. Uh, anyways, let's finish up on how you have to work the place. So to your left, you have a big old door thing from the old Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Cool. It's used to close off guests while they're playing the flashlight game next to your office. It makes a cool transition from when they leave the game and enter the office. And finally, to your right, you have a false vent that you can shut once the guests have exited. We don't want them coming back through, or something like that? I don't know. Alright, I'll leave you to it now. See you on the flip side. Nothing about the animatronics? Like, just gonna... Just send me on my way, just like... Figure it out yourself, man, like... You're gonna... Die anyways. So... 2 a.m., so... I wonder what 
this is supposed to be for. I really should really clean these cameras. Hey, bud. Mine, uh, leave for a second. All right, thanks, man. Not expecting to see you at all tonight. To be honest, wait, who's up? I don't like about this. Ha! Gotcha, man. I don't like about this. There's too much stuff on each of the cams, so. Kind of looking on. Nice. Hold on. What? <laughs> oh. Lore? Night two. Whew. Get ready for me to die. So, why was this moving? Was it this guy? Hello. Oh, hey. Welcome back to Fredbear's Fright. I'm hoping that you're starting to get comfortable now. Okay, so I have some pretty good news right now. We have been working on the animatronic programming, and they seem to be working a bit now. That prototype animatronic endoskeleton is starting to be able to turn around and stuff now, along with a few others having some movement now. I think that's pretty cool. Do you think so? Uh, okay. Kinda. Time for a bit more info on things you can operate in your office. So, do you see that pullable lever on the office's ceiling? Yeah. You can use that to fill up your spray bottle in the morning when you have to go clean up the animatronics. Make sure to only clean the joints, as getting liquids on the animatronic parts themselves could damage the electronics inside, or even mess up the coating. 
I know it's silly to have that lever right there instead of a sink, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay, you have a camera system to look at on your laptop, which also is a half restored thing from Freddy Fazbear's. You can check the rooms as people go through the attraction and make sure that no one goes into the attic or somewhere they shouldn't be. Also keep an eye on prototype. It seems to move a bit at random times, so just look at it from time to time to make sure it doesn't fall over. Then there's an animatronic moveset operator to the right of your office, which is still a work in progress. That should eventually make an animatronic do something spooky when you enter a certain code. All this stuff should be complete in nearly a week. So if something doesn't work correctly, or you see some boxes laying around, those things will be worked on. Programming the animatronics and working on the building functions will be our top priority over the next couple of days. Alright, I'll be getting some shot eye. Good night. Good night, man. Get some well needed rest. Who is that? Monty's already out? Freddy? Freddy Fazbear? Or, or, or? Oh, one of the plushies is gone. Where could he have gone? Skyrocketing. I don't like this. Not one bit, to be honest. These animatronics look scary, so that's the problem. Open the door, or I'll throw rocks to your window. Or something like that, I don't know. You know you guys can leave, right? You don't have to be there the whole time. Oh god, oh god. 
god. Okay. Nope. Nope. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Am I? Oh. Trash Panda, what the... <laughs> oh, that hurt my chest. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Okay. $19 Fortnite card. <sighs> that hurt. Wow, okay. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna die. <laughs> I knew it. I should have watched my cams. Uh, not my cams, my uh, power. I should have watched that. What's up? Apparently. Hello. Oh, hey. Welcome back to Fred Bruce Fred. I'm hoping that you're starting to get comfortable what now. Okay, so I have some pretty good news right now. We have been working on the animatronic programming and they seem to be working a bit now. That prototype animatronic endoskeleton is starting to be able to turn around and stuff now, along with a few others having some movement now. I think that's pretty cool. Do you think so? Uh, okay. Time for a bit more info on things you can operate in your office. So, do you see that pullable lever on the office's ceiling? You can use that to fill up your spray bottle in the morning when you have to go clean up the animatronics. Make sure to only clean the joints, as getting liquids on the animatronic parts themselves could damage the electronics inside, or even mess up the coating. I know it's silly to have that lever right there instead of a sink, but I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay, you have a camera system to look at on your laptop, which also is a half-restored thing from Freddy Fazbear's. You can check the rooms as people go through the attraction, oh, make sure whoa. that no one goes into the attic Hello, or somewhere Bonnie. they shouldn't be. Also keep an eye on prototype. It seems to move a bit at random time, so just look at it from time to time to make sure it doesn't fall over. Then there's an animatronic moveset operator to the right of your office, which is still a work in progress. That should eventually make an animatronic do something spooky hey, when you enter a certain code. All this I stuff should be here. complete in nearly a week. So if something doesn't work correctly, or you see some boxes laying around, those things will be worked on. Programming the animatronics and working on the building functions will be our top priority over the next couple of days. All right, I'll be getting some shot eye. Good night. Right, good luck, man. Get some, get some nice shot eye. Seems like they really like to go in the vents. Hey, bomb bomb. No, I don't. Where's Fred? Where's Fred? Fred has to be here somewhere, right? Sorry about that. Nah, he's back. He's cool. He's cool. Nope. Hold on. I keep forgetting to turn off the lights after I use them. So, sorry about that. Who's there? I hear the bumpity bumps, then yeah, I'll, I'll close it. Oh shit! That man was like, "You bitch, don't you dare do that." attempt to get me wet you son of a crack okay box there oh, hi Fred bear Fred bear oh. 
I closed it. Yeah, I closed it. Like, what, do you, what do you expect me to do? Not close it? This guy's out. Oh, wait. Oh, he's gonna put a little mask on. Cool. Still there? Yeah, he's still there. We got him. He's gonna put a little mask on. They never told me about the little guys. That hurt. We're no strangers to love. Oh, Foxy. Night three, just straight in. Let's go. I'm gonna die. I'm going to die. Hello? Ah, uh, okay. So the programming of the animatronics is getting closer to being ready for the attraction. It's, it's not perfect, but we're getting there. Uh, so Cam 2A should be getting worked on tomorrow along with the animatronic AI operator. Heck, I may even come in tomorrow night to start working on it myself. It's pretty exciting seeing this place coming together so nicely. The generator also should be getting replaced in several days for a fully working electrical system. So operating the facility should become much easier. Lucky you, right? Uh, anyways, I've wanted to go over some explanations of things we've done within the facility, just in case you weren't already aware. So, we actually had to find those Spring Freda who's in animatronics at some old diner off in the middle of nowhere. In fact, they're already pretty messed up looking when we found them. Apparently some other company started fixing them up for some type of attraction. Oh, okay. But it got burned up or something. The person who tried fixing them up did a lousy job on them anyways. Oh well, at least we got the hand puppets. They weren't, they aren't really scared at all, but they do fit in with the attraction. So far we've set up the facility to go in a path starting at the first location then ending at the last Freddy Fazbear's. I've got nothing else to really say, except that you must make sure that our animatronics don't malfunction while you're watching over the facility. Okay, I'll quit bothering you. Good night, and good luck. Thanks, man. That's really nice of you. I'm gonna die. I'll tell you that. So, you can get the new security guard right after I die. What was that? Oh, wrong camera. Oh, 
Bowie's gone. But Rat is gone. But it'll be here probably. Oh no! Oh! Would you mind getting out of that area, please? It's not. Oh, oh come on! I was so close. God, oh. I'm mad. <laughs> I was so close to the button, and the dude was like, Whoo! "Oh, God." Well, screw you and the horse you went on, you rode on. Jesus Christ! You freaking dumb rat! Oh my God! Oh, that hurt! <laughs> oh, my stomach did the flippity floppities while I did that. Oh God! Well, <laughs> that will conclude <laughs> this episode. Uh, I was not expecting that last one. As you can see, I was actually trying to get to the number to the actual button. So, oh god, my my stomach and my heart hurts. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um thank you guys for the views and the attention you guys are getting or the attention you guys are giving for the videos that I've released recently. Thank you a lot. And yeah, this will be the end of Finance Freddy's month. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I might make another one, but not soon. Probably next Halloween or next uh, October. And it will actually be at the start of October. I'll promise you that. So yeah, that this will be the end of Finance of Freddy's Month. So yeah, <laughs> I hope you had a great time. I had a great time playing these. More solo content will come up soon. I got a People's Playground video that I am about to start editing soon. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you guys want to. Of course, it's free, so you can change your mind anytime. <coughs> but it would be great if you did subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye!